cosmology, the observable universe is one among a finite or infinite number of possible universes contained within the meta-universe. Each universe can, in turn, be divided into a finite or infinite number of iterations. The structure of the meta-universe, the natural laws which allow for the manifestation of universes, is eternal, without beginning or end. Universes, on the other hand, are created and eventually destroyed. Beyond this, circuit cosmology is fairly simple by virtue of the indifference of its adherents. Existence is regarded as an entirely brute fact, corruptible, discordant, and devoid of purpose. Yalda Bayoth, also known as Vazjuma, God-Eater, Devourer, His Undulating Vastness, The Great Winnower, and various other epithets, is regarded in sarcasm as the principal power in the universe. Footnote 16 a name thought to be first employed by Gnostic and Mechanite sects. Footnote 17 Literature The Old God Despite being treated with reverence, Yaldabaoth is not worshipped and appears to be regarded as subservient to Ion in some manner. Translated fragments of the Valkzeron suggest that Ion has somehow usurped control of this cosmic entity, wearing the flesh of the God-Eater as a sort of armor and crafting from its body a kingdom. As with all things related to sarcasism, it is difficult to discern reality from myth. The relationship between sarcasism and this entity may be akin to that of a parasite and its host, or perhaps even symbolic. The wound, cut from the flesh of totality, deep, it severed the line of future and past. Drawn to its ancient fester, God swarmed as flies to a corpse. We waited within bloodless veins, faithful to that which we could not know, unable to imagine that we might become their greater. Here we slept until our souls became flesh. San Alku Yaldabaoth is portrayed as both destroyer and incidental creator, feeding upon gods and stars and exhaling life. Life is thus a natural byproduct of the God-Eater's existence, unguided by intelligence and spreading through a process not entirely dissimilar from panspermia. Footnote 18 the theory that life exists and is distributed throughout the universe in the form of germs and spores that develop in the right environment. Blind and driven solely by instinct, Yalda Bayoth is depicted as being accompanied by six otherworldly entities known as Archons, or Voltus, among certain proto sarkic cults. These beings are described by Sarkic texts as faceless manifestations of primordial chaos, their true forms inconceivable to the human mind. Gnostic and Mechanite scripture would mention the Archons as well, describing them as terrible and rapacious angels. The swine herd prostrated himself before the Sorcerer King and asks, Great Sorcerer King and Azamok, heart of man and light of lights, I speak for the folk of the cold marsh. We fear the red lanterns that dance without harmony. Our spirit guides warn of ill omens. And Ion did assure the man. I have gazed upon the faceless ones, servitors of his undulating vastness. Their chief is blind, castrated by our words and will. He sings songs of anarchy, but they will not come again. These terrible spirits do not deserve our love. Render unto them no sacrifice until the stars have aligned. San Vith. The six ordeals of Ion refer to six challenges issued to Ion by the Archons. Through enduring their trials, Ion is said to have mastered the rituals and practices ubiquitous to sarcasm, breaking free from the bondage of mortal limitations. Further information about Ion's relationship with Yaldabaoth and his Archons, as well as the nature of the ordeals, remains unknown. Footnote 19 Although relevant sons are believed to be recorded within the Elu Vonklas, a known but unrecovered Sarkic grimoire, and to his flock Ion thus spoke. I have stepped beyond the flow of dreams, stood before the Old Ones within their own desolate domain. I have endured their intolerable force, across countless eons. I have seen the infinite dead worlds, murdered death herself. I have read the entrails of our Creator, beheld eternity unfurled. Know that our paradise draws near, and with our own flesh shall we birth it. Sun Skull.